Intel XCSS is now available in over 50 games. Chinese company Matex revealed their N100 AI video processor. Gaming GPUs are planned for 2025. AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 3D 6 core CPU with the 3D VCache is reportedly coming very soon. And lastly, AX Gaming has made a simple technique to hide their power cables for the R GeForce RTX 4070 and 4060 Ti GPUs. This is Tech Track. So first we have Intel here, they're just saying that they're excited to grow their Intel XCSs in over 50 games and if you look into it, these are the games, these are the 50 titles that we're looking at, well not all the titles are here, but yeah, like, they have added the Concurs Blade, Crime Buzz, Blood Hunt, Dead Link, well, all of these games have no idea which which games there are, but Death Stranding, the director's cut is a very famous game, so that's pretty good. We have Deceive and uh, INC, and we have like a dragon shin i believe dolmen dying light to stay human which is a very exciting game you should play it this terra or this terra that's how you spell it enlisted that's a pretty good game farming simulator 22 if you know if you're interested in the farming then of course the swordsman survival uh dial field chronicle i'm not sure if that is dial field forza horizon 5 uh such a good game. Ghostbusters, never played that one. Ghostwire Tokyo, pretty good game. Grid Legends, we have Hi-Fi Rush, we have High on Life, and of course many more. We have Gotham Knights that I see, and Hogwarts Legacy. So, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy and PC port kind of struggles a lot, but now maybe it doesn't, so it should be a good experience now. We also got Returnal, we got the Rift Breaker, that was the AMD sponsored title, now they also have the, they, they did feature the FSR 2 and 1 there, so yeah, that's uh, another title having Intel XCSs, I want to see how different that is. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, of course, we also got 3D Mark that has been added for the Intel XCSs, so there will be a lot of benchmarking going on, which is nice. We also got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0, Chivalry, Pinball, and many other games, so that's pretty good, they're moving into it. If you also want to see the benchmarks, it will be in the link in the description. Obviously, these are the first-party benchmarks, but also they're not wrong, quietly, because they do have included that, so you might want to look into it for your own preferred game, or if you want to play a game like that. So, yeah, Intel XCS is for the 50 titles, that's pretty good. Next up, we have an interesting topic here. This is a new GPU maker, Matex, right here, as you can see. Matex has made their own first GPU, well, this is only for data centers like AI or video upscaling stuff. These are the Matex GPU that does that kind of stuff, not the gaming one. But they do have plans for gaming in 2025, which is still a lot of two years from now on. So we'll take some time for first we need to look into this one because this is the first artificial intelligence uh, GPU that's called as XIZ or Zishi. That's how, that's what they call it, Zishi and 100. And that's from coming from Matex here. And well, that's you can understand what that is. And it also has a 160 teraflops of FP32 power or, or maybe not FP32. I'm, I could be wrong there. But yeah, like 160 teraflops of uh, performance there. So I mean, not the best in the class, maybe or we don't really know because we haven't seen how it performs it's just a report we're looking at from IT home but yeah this is the very first uh, matrix chip you were looking at of course a chinese based company china china has been making some good gpus well i wouldn't say good they are you know progressing in the gpu market and this is one of them we also had that mtt s80 and s70 release and this is now we're looking at is the matex a different company chinese based of course making their first artificial intelligent gpu so that's really interesting next up chill e dog twitter user or leaker i should say have leaked this basically the ryzen 5 5600x3d is coming basically and if you look into this, this is the leak that we are getting uh, we got that amd ryzen 5600 x3d these are the specs we're looking at six core 12 threads obviously we know that and l2 cache 3 l3 cache is 96 similar to the 5800 x3d because it's a 3d v cache right it's gonna be much higher and if you look into the cpu clock here we've got 4.4 for the boost clock and 3.3 is the base clock which is very fair understandable and well, if you know the 3D V cache, how it performs with the 5800X3D, you would want to buy 5600X3D because 5800X3D for the AM4 base processors is the best in class in terms of gaming. Well, not in terms of productivity, but again, it doesn't really matter for productivity anyway because they're meant for gaming in the first place. And we also got Ryzen 
uh, well, Ryzen 5600X 3D now, so I wonder how that will perform into the budget-friendly and with the 3D VCAS included, because, you know, 3D VCAS is something <laughs> interesting for gaming, of course, because 5800X 3D still dominates very well, so I'm hoping Ryzen 5600X 3D will also dominate in terms of the, you know, budget-friendly nature, because if you look into the pricing for the 5800X 3D now, it's below $300. Surprise, surprise, yeah, I know. So 5600X 3D should be lower than that definitely i'm hoping like around 240 to 250 because you know that is that looks re reasonable right it should be because 5600x isn't very low in terms of pricing now 5600 is very low but now we're getting the 5600x 3d that should at least give us some options for you know some good gaming and in the budget friendly uh, market so we'll see about that and lastly we have something interesting ax gaming basically posted this well well look at that this is a uh, geforce rtx 4070 slash 4060 ti and we also have something interesting it doesn't have any wires that can you know come out from the front because if you look closely here this is where the 8 pin connection and they have been at or not the 8 pin maybe the 12 pin we'll see about that uh, it seems like this is the 8 pin connection yeah that's basically it so as you can see it's literally behind the gpu right so when the gpu goes inside the wire is not coming from here the cables are not coming from the front it's coming from this from behind and then you have this shroud that covers that and voila there's the wire to be seen. Well, that's the wire we're looking at. But if you have a cutout right here, as you can see, right over there, the, this cable just goes out from there. So you don't really have to worry about, you know, like, you know, the that problematic thing that it looks visually bad or anything. But yeah, like that cable is not from the front, but from the behind, which is something that also RTX 4070, uh, the Asus edition, the newer edition, that did the same similar thing, but with something like an interface in the motherboard. But I don't think not every single motherboard will have that opportunity to have, you know, have a, a, a proprietary connection for a, a particular GPU. So this is more practical because if people go with this i mean the manufacturers if they go with this kind of design that can support any motherboard that doesn't really have to require a specific motherboard this is perfect and it just also covers like i wonder why nobody thought about this in this long this is perfect honestly so yeah look how clean it is clean it is like it's just clean you don't see any wire and it also has that shroud that also covers it aesthetically speaking it looks phenomenal so i think manufacturers should do more like this ax gaming they're initiating this for the first time so i would like to see more of that from every single manufacturer because this looks so clean